What is good with y'all, man? So today we are gonna be going over every quarterback release with Gunslinger. I clocked every single quarterback in the game with Gunslinger. We clocked their release, um, and we did, we did. This is about a two, three hour process. We made sure we got an exact number for their release. Like you'll see here, right? The, the, this is the official list, right? I don't think anyone else has done a list like this where they've actually sat there and clocked every single quarterback's release with Gunslinger, right? To get an official time on a release. So there's 27 quarterbacks, right? I ranked them all. So now some guys ha um, have the same time for the release. Some guys might have like 0.25 seconds, same thing. But the release is still a little bit different on how it feels, even though clocks in at the same time. And you'll see what I'm talking about, right? But we got a lot of quarterbacks to go through um so let's go ahead and get into this and just know this is the official madden 21 qb release time qb release times right so uh this is the go-to one right i'll even i'll have a, like a um another list of it on twitter like just like just of all of them right so in case you don't want to watch the video right follow me over on twitter thank you but uh, let's go on ahead and get into this list at number 27 we have jonathan ogden big o he clocked in at 0.30 seconds, which everybody it's 0.30 something. So obviously it, uh, 0.30 seconds it, it's the worst that, that he had the worst um, throwing time. I mean, I mean, he's, he's not a quarterback. You know, what do you expect? Right? Obviously, his throwing time is going to be bad. But uh, some of the next guys coming up right after him. I mean, th I'll be honest, they're, they're, theirs is almost just as bad as him. I mean, it's actually surprised me a little bit but uh yeah jonathan ogden 0.30 seconds the worst throwing motion in the game at number 26 we have dan marino who clocked in at 0.29 seconds for his release time which that's pretty bad i mean i and, and y'all remember i used to use dan marino really heavy and i was like you know his release does feel a little weird but i kind of like the way it felt but damn is it slow because he does that little thing where he lifts his leg up and anybody that has that animation where they lift his leg up except for a few except for well, really one guy in particular who you know who has the, the occasion where he lifts his leg up but he doesn't have a bad release you'll see who it is but marino has that thing where he lifts his leg up and it's where he has the worst one like it's he oh my god his release is really bad it's really slow and marino can still be used though just because you have a bad release doesn't mean you're not you, you make them not usable pass lead elite helps his release out just a little bit but you know marino uh 0.29 second release time number 25 we have russell wilson who clocked in at 0.27 seconds for his release time which surprised me a little bit it did surprise me a little bit um i i, I even spent extra time doing his because i was like are we sure about this and yet yeah, 0.27 seconds was is that's his release time um it's pretty bad it, it is pretty bad you know it, it's like and some quarterbacks have like sometimes they'll get a speed up animation where it's not as bad and sometimes they get a slow up animation he just has seems like he, this is his he just has this one throwing motion it's like dog it is just oh my god i, I can see why where people don't want to use russell wilson and he doesn't even have hot route master dog i mean that yeah russell wilson it's ggs 0.27 seconds for his release time number 24 we have dante cole pepper who clocked in at 0.26 seconds cole pepper's release I could speak on it obviously i used him in the past i remember when he first came out i, th I think we all used dante culpepper at one point and we can all admit his release is pretty fucking bad it, it's it's a pretty bad release now, i didn't know it was this bad i thought it'd be like a 25 0.25 is range but it ended up being 0.26 and yep i can vouch for it I, I, like i said we could all kind of vouch but he, he's still usable well right now he's not usable until he gets upgrade but once he gets upgrade the guy's still usable but 0.26 seconds not a good release number 23 we have joe namath who clocked in at 0.25 seconds now here's the thing coming up here we're gonna have a lot of guys that start getting duplicated numbers like multiple 0.25s multiple 0.24s so basically how i'm doing it is is what is different about the release that because sometimes guys releases the, the um because their animation it can get slowed down because if they have that lift up leg animation there's times where their animation could get a little bit slower and there's some guys where sometimes their animation just gets sped up it's really weird like it's because you know there's predetermined throw animations but for the most part his release is, it's a his normal release is 0.25 seconds but he has that animation where his left leg left uh you know lifts up and does that weird shit and that's when it can slow down a little bit but when he just throws it normally it's 0.25 so out of all the other guys coming up next 
uh his is the worst at number 22 we have lamar jackson with another 0.25 second release time uh the thing is with lamar his is just kind of middle of the road it's not really that bad but um another guy who has the 0.25 second release this just feels like it just feels a little bit faster and sometimes it gets sped up a little bit so and kind of personally i never really liked lamar's release so i kind of have a little you know there's a little bit of bias there i mean these guys have literally the same release time i gotta find another way to i gotta find a way to break them up somehow right so yeah lamar 25 seconds is his release time 21 we have johnny unitas who is the last one to have a 0.25 second release time the weird thing with johnny unitas is sometimes i notice like his release gets like kind of sped up it's really weird like I, I don't know that you know how the game is there's different animations predetermined animations that are going to happen and i feel like out of all the 0.25 second guys his release i don't know it just felt like it was the best in my opinion uh but 0.25 seconds it, it it's still a pretty slow release compared to some of the other guys that you're going to see their release times it, it's it's pretty slow at number 20 we have Derek carr and it turns out i actually lied he's also a 0.25 second release time i guess i just forgot about him um, out of all the 0.25 second release times, this is the fastest I felt like. I just felt like it was the smoothest, the cleanest. I don't know. That's just what I thought, right? Uh, I honestly forgot about Derek Carr. I totally, <laughs> I totally forgot about it. I was looking through the list to see who I hope we got next, and then I realized, oh, Derek Carr. Forgot about him. At number 19, we have Dak Prescott, who's coming in with a 0.24 second release time um it's not bad i feel like the 0.24s they're the middle of the road right they're just they're they're the average releases anything above that is kind of ass and anything lower than it is pretty good 0.24 i feel like these are the middle of the road guys coming up here so dak is uh he's a middle of the road guy number 18 we got patrick mahomes uh another 0.24 second release time i just feel like patrick mahomes card isn't really good overall so i feel like not a lot of people really get a chance to use it. He definitely needs to get uh, an upgrade soon, which I'm actually surprised he hasn't. But, um, I mean, it's, it's just the average release. It's not bad, which I've never used Patrick Mahomes in any of the Maddens, so this is actually my first time ever even throwing a ball with him. Number 17, we have Justin Herbert, who's coming in with a .23 second release time. The 24s are done, and we're now onto the .23 second, guys. And Justin Herbert, out of all the .23s, I feel like his release is kind of the worst because he has that thing where sometimes his left leg he has that little let the leg that lifts up and i don't know i just feel like sometimes it could slow it down I, I don't know it's just really weird uh but it's still herbert's still a good card though uh so yeah 0.23 second release times here we come number 16 we have tom brady with a 0.23 second release time now tom brady um his i don't know like at first like i was doing it, and it didn't feel like 0.23 seconds it felt like a 24 or a 25 but you know he kept clocking it at 0.23 so i'm like all right well i guess that's what it is right uh the numbers ain't gonna lie to me but um i just feel like the other guy who's 0.23 i just felt like i just feel like his was just fast i don't know you know what i mean just, i feel like the other guy's just faster number 15 we have drew Brees with the last 0.23 second release time kind of like breeze release I, I thought it'd be a little bit faster than 0.23 but you know that's what it kept coming in as so said so the numbers ain't gonna lie but breeze uh definitely not a bad release i would say maybe give breeze a try you know i've, I've went against some drew breeze so i could see why people are using them definitely not a bad card right you don't have to have the best release in the game to use a card i know you know competitive wise that's what people look at but like if you're just playing the game bro you gotta use who you want to use bro you know what i mean at number 14 we have baker mayfield so now we are on the 0.22 second release time guys as baker came in with 0.22 seconds which surprised me now obviously i've never used baker mayfield's car but you know if any of you other guys have baker mayfield's car let me know like do you think it's really that fast because i mean it's 0.22 seconds that that's his time which is uh another maybe even another reason f for me to give baker mayfield a try so pretty solid for the browns theme teams at number 13 we have robert griffin the third rg3 with a 0.22 second release time now when we when i used rg3 i liked this release so i mean you know this is kind of a little bit of a biased one there but i kind of liked this release so um and i figured it was it was somewhat a pretty decent you know release like speed wise right and, and obviously it came in at 0.22 seconds and i see i could see that i believe it number 12 we have kirk cousins with a 0.22 second release time 
Now, I've heard things about Kirk Cousins. Obviously, nobody really wants to use Kirk Cousins, so no one's gonna fucking try Kirk Cousins out. But obviously, for this video, I gotta do all the QBs with Gunslinger. Kirk's got the Slinger. We had to try him out, and he actually has a not bad release, right? Um, still would never use Kirk Cousins because let's be honest, who the hell wants to use Kirk Cousins? Number 11, we got Rich Gannon with another 0.22 second release time. There's a lot of these guys with this time, it seems like. Uh, Rich Gannon. You know, I remember a lot of people said, oh, we don't like his release, da 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 da, -da, -da. but I mean, a 0.22 second time, it, it's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty solid. Now, me personally, I never really liked the Rich Gannon's cards. I never tried them out, right? But I just feel like they're always, look. some cards are funky, right? And it has nothing to do with the release time. Cards are just funky. And, you know, maybe sometimes he gets those animations where, uh, like, so, some cards get a lot of predetermined animations. Randall Cunningham, I've noticed he gets a lot of predetermined animations. Like, even, like, like throwing animations when even we, when I was just trying to clock his time, I'm like, what the hell? Like it was, it was really weird. I think Rich, Rich Gannon might be one of those guys, but either way, he came in with 0.22 seconds. At number 10, we have the one and only Michael Vick with a 0.22 second release time. He is the last quarterback with 0.22 seconds. Um, and I always try to tell everybody, Michael Vick has a really good release. He might be left-handed, but if you could just get used to using a left-handed quarterback, it's worth it because he has a really good release, and I always love Vick's release. Once again, this could be a little bit biased, right? Vick is my favorite quarterback to ever play football. He's probably my favorite athlete to ever play football, or athlete, period, right? Uh, I just love Michael Vick, and the numbers don't lie. At number nine, we have Josh Allen, who came in with a .21 second release time. I think he's the only one that had .21 seconds. Um, and I mean, Josh Allen always had a pretty good release, right? This is like one of the better releases, right? I think on his car, though, he does not get Hot Route Master, which is why people don't use it. I always kind of wondered why. How come people not using Allen? I'm pretty sure it's because he doesn't get Hot Route Master, but he does have a pretty good release. Me, personally, I never liked Josh Allen's car because he was one of those cars where I feel like funky things used to happen with a lot of weird shit right but uh he's got a good release time number eight we have randall cunningham that's coming in with a point 20 20 seconds for his release time and there's a few guys coming up that have 20 point 20 second release times but cunningham like i said the weird thing about him is there's a lot of funky things that happen with him a lot of predetermined weird throwing animations that can happen which kind of fucks him up but overall he does actually have a really fast release and um, he's my quarterback right now, so I could definitely vouch. I like his release. Number seven, we have Jimmy Garoppolo with a point twenty second release time. Jimmy G's got a pretty good release. I always wondered why do some people use Jimmy G? Yes, for the you know maybe their theme teams or whatever, but I'm wondering what's up with Jimmy G? And he has a you know twenty second release time. Now I understand. Okay, his release moves. This is now one of the best releases in the game. This shit moves so. Now I know why some people actually use that bum. At number six, we have Matthew Stafford. Now I think a lot of people forgot Matthew Stafford was in the game. He was actually one of the first quarterbacks to even get Gunslinger. Um, and his release clocks in at 0 .20 seconds. Really good release. Um, I I actually I thought it felt a little bit faster than 20. I thought it was feeling maybe like a point nineteen, but you know kept coming in as point twenty. So that's what it was. But overall. I thought uh, Stafford's release was really good, and if he gets another card, I think people might be on it. Number five, we have Alex Smith, who clocked in with a .19 seconds release time. Now, these are now few people going to be coming up with uh, .19 seconds, and Alex Smith surprised me. Now, a lot of you are probably surprised, and you probably don't believe me anymore. You've probably lost trust in me, but yes, he came in at .19 seconds. Uh... I've never used Alex Smith. I thought he had a, you know, probably like a mediocrity release, maybe 22, 23, 21, but 19 seconds is apparently the release that he he throws at, and it's a pretty good release. So Alex Smith is definitely worth giving a try. Number four, we have Deshaun Watson, who also has a point 19 second release time. And I didn't know that from what I what I've heard is I thought, you know, Deshaun Watson actually didn't really have a good release, and it was kind of ass from what I've heard, right? You know, some people have said. So, going into this, I expected, all right, mediocrity release or something like that. 0.19 seconds is one of the best releases in the game. And even just throwing with him, I'm like, dog, Deshaun Watson is a really good release. I'm like, how have I never tried Deshaun Watson out? I'm, he, it's pretty good. I ain't going to lie. Deshaun Watson, you know, maybe in the future could end up as my quarterback on my team. We'll see. Number three, we have Phillip Rivers with a 0.18, oh, 18 second release time. Um, kind of expected this from Phillip. Obviously, I tried him out. We I didn't try him out for very long when I had him as my quarterback, but 
um i was like dog i could just tell it's one of the fastest releases in the game and then obviously go back and do it 0.18 seconds pretty goddamn fast and i'm I'm, I'm sure you guys know who number one and number two are. It's pretty obvious. At number two, we have Aaron Rodgers with a 0.16 second release time, which think about that, 0.16 seconds. Now look at all these other quarterbacks. Some guys got 0.29. Hell, someone had 0.30, 0.25, 24, 23. That is so much faster. It's fucking insane. And at number one, we have Brett Favre with a 0.15 second release time. Now when the community always says, Oh, Favre's release was faster than Aaron Rodgers just by a little bit. I'm like, is it really? Because I always felt like it was the exact same. And I think people were exaggerating. But he came in at 0.15 seconds, which, dog, that, that's insane, bro. Like, 0.15 seconds compared to someone that's like 0.25 seconds. Dog, that's a huge difference. That really is a huge difference. Even 0.20 seconds, right? I used Cunningham. He had 0.20 seconds. I mean, it's a huge difference. And it, a lot of people don't think that a release time can make a big difference. Favre and Aaron Rodgers would make a huge difference, dog. Trust me on that. That shit makes a huge difference. Now, for a lot of casuals that don't really understand that, trust me. Give them a try, and you'll probably notice in your game that there's a big difference. But that is basically it, boys. That is all 27 quarterbacks right now as of March 30th, right, with Gunslinger. Those are the fastest release times right now in the game. Uh, that's going to do it, right? Like, comment, subscribe, man. Fuck with your boy, man. And I'm out.